from the great state of Texas, as you are now listening to Skip the Noise Podcast, a Rounded Edge Media Production. Thank you so much for joining us. By us, of course, I'm referring to Ben, Ben, aka Mexican Nostradamus, myself, Benjamin, <laughs> Benjamin James, aka Blueberry Sugar, and a. I'm so delighted to have the special, special guest on the program once again. It's been. Man, I, I can't do the math real quick, but it's been since episode 37. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to welcome this young, handsome gentleman back on the show, Jeremy Masters. Welcome back to Skip the Noise, sir. Greetings, STN. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And shout out to Mike Tacklebox for the music. Almost forgot. Uh, and Jeremy, too. Oh. Uh, of course, I'll probably bookend the show with uh, his tunes in honor of being on. And if you got anything new in between today and tomorrow morning, send it to me. Do you have anything new? Oh, I wish, brother. I wish. No, then I'm doing Devers for a bit. So, yeah, no, I, <laughs> I, I definitely hear that uh, on that grind. <laughs> But I'm, uh, I am, yeah, I'm very, uh, having a polar panic. Oh, hold on. Got a little communication from Rick. He may be joining us. The Brown Python, uh, may be coming here in a little bit. But without further ado, we'll get into the, uh, first topic of the evening right here in the great state of Texas. Uh, apparently it's back in the, uh, the Nazi regime, and we're now <laughs> back to burning books. So, uh, or at least, right, Rick struggle. So that's the next, uh, <laughs> burn, burning them will be the next step. But for now, uh, the school, what's the, Ben, that's over more in your neck of the woods. What's the oh, name of the school? It's it. always in my fucking neck of the woods. I mean, it's uh, basically, so there's a, and actually kind of close to y'all too. So basically, there's some local public libraries, in, including Victoria, Te- Victoria Irving, and Tyler, Texas. And basically, what they're doing is that there's been a bunch of um, voice outs and concerns from parents in the local area calling out certain books, in particular ones that discuss sexuality and uh, race. And they're basically wanting a thorough review of all these books to to make sure that they maintain with their society or their their community standards, aka they're basically trying to censor any books that talk about, you know, past sins of society or sexuality that isn't concurrent with their particular conservative ideal so they're, they're, they're just kind of i mean this is basically what the nazis did right they they're creating their own history they're creating their own society yeah, and, and they're, they're taking away any nuance or difference of opinion it's it's really pretty it's actually this is one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen. And it probably started here in DFW because this place fucking sucks. But the reality is, is this, this is really so for anyone listening, whether you're conservative or, or liberal, this is a very scary thing. This proposition are anything to do to remove books or remove knowledge that is against what you believe is terrifying in you know all what, assets. You know? And you know what the most fucked up thing about the whole situation is? What? This all comes on the heels, obviously, of like the abortion, uh, you know, trying to ban abortion the voting rights and oh, then yeah. now and now this and it's all and all that not only that too the fucking uh 
the the guns. Like this is all Abbott, dude. This is all because Trump sort of paved the way for like, here's how you get elected. You get sh- you're shocking, and you fucking really dig the heels in of a very extreme like movement. Like that's how he's gonna win. So it's all like political posturing is starting to drive policy in a way that's fucking crazy because of how extreme you have to be to get people's attention to get them to vote. Right. Am am I off? You know what I mean? Yeah, Yeah. it's like such a marketing thing that it's like, oh, oh, you think I'm for gun rights? No, 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 no. Why <laughs> this? Why? I'll see your gun rights and raise you. Yes, exactly. And, I, and the, uh, the first thing that occurred to me, though, was like, I used to work in a few libraries. Yeah. There was always information that was available on me. You have to be willing to dig for it. We had something in the reference section, so it couldn't leave the library. Right. But it was called the Queen's Vernacular. And that was extremely educational, you know, when I'm in high school working at the public (laughs) library, let me tell you. But the first thing that struck me was they're doing this to the library. Maybe next they're going to, like, go through video cassettes, you know, oh, like yeah. eight tracks. I mean, oh, like, yeah. you know, what, what is a library at this point, you know, like I got in terms of exclusivity on information, you know what I mean? Like, what are they going to accomplish? It's really more of a, a dangerous symbol than any kind of efficacy, you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, yeah. I agree. I agree <laughs> for real. I agree. What? It's just control, right? It's control of knowledge. It's a degradation of, of. Um, I don't think it really is a control of knowledge. I mean, it may may be a, a lame attempt at it, but it's more just like a show. You know what I mean? It's a show. Well, oh, unless it gets to go it. through, want to you know draw a party line. Kind yeah. Of. Well, unless it goes through, then it does become the norm, right? Then you have children learning, you know, that slavery was like, you know, the slaves were happy. You know, I mean, there are textbooks that reference slavery as like, almost like it was like a, like a father child type relationship where the slaves were, you know, they were happy working, you know, it wasn't that bad. So they were just, you know, taken care of by their, by the plantation owners. So well, right, it, it, it does pervert history. And way. the stuff that they're trying, to, I mean, it's so obvious too, like this, the, the list of uh, books that are on this list that they're, you know, considering or they're going through this process. It's all like books that are either about minorities or like or point, points of view yeah no it's it's really spooky how um how just almost blatant and in in your face these books i don't know if it was this one there was another issue I feel like recently in, uh, I think Pennsylvania, like maybe, maybe I'm crazy, but some school district did something similar and it was like, oh, yeah. every, like every single one of the, <laughs> the books was like either about <laughs> minorities or like by a minority author. Like it was ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Um, so there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's obviously an agenda, but yeah, the political game, the show of it, I feel like is what's driving the, but to your point, Ben, like, yeah, it, it, then it becomes real. And that, that is, uh, but yeah, that's a scary place to live in. Well, I mean, but it's like stories, right? So 
today I was listening to, um, or not today, a couple of days ago, I was, I was listening to this really awesome podcast um, called, like, basically Short Histories of. Yeah. And there is, there, there, yeah, big shout out. There is, there is an event during World War One where everyone talked about how the soldiers stopped fighting and celebrated Christmas together. Like it was this grand unifying moment, right? Yeah. Um, but in reality, it didn't happen throughout the lines. And it was actually a lot of soldiers were punished for doing it. But, you know, later on, they try to make it this romantic view type thing. So that's the perversions of history where you know, if they get away with doing something like that, what else, you know, how are they going to change concepts? How are they going to change history, time, and also alienate people that are already being alienated? Because a lot of the books on there also deal with sexuality, in particular, you know, homosexuality and oh yeah, and, like uh, transgender born. rights, etc. Right. Well, not only that, but like... Um... I want to say it's even uh, like there's stuff on abortion or oh yeah a anything you know I mean? anything you know anything uh, and, and 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 even particularly I'm worried at some point they go after religious text of other than Christianity. I mean, it's just it's it's kind of it's kind of terrifying i i really don't like this this is something that people really need to really take a look at and be like is it worth whitewashing and i'm not trying to say this in a racial terms, but just whitewashing history whitewashing society to make it into what you like only is that really what you want to do you know? Is it a, is it just a natural or a natural pushback against the like the almost unlimited wealth of, of information? Once yeah. you have that access to that, you have to push even harder. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, I get you. Uh, I get you. You have to build that wall up because at like, some point you're right because things are accelerating so fast the yeah. other way as far as expanding and like having access or, or the illusion of access to all the information in the world like the force to manage well, it's a, that it's the rage against the dying the light just, right? yeah you correct yeah. yeah they're just raging remember against when the Kevin reality Smith so remember when Kevin Smith released Dogma and he had that like <laughs> the greatest movie. Yeah. The, you know, he had like the fake indignation protests out front of the opening and stuff. And oh, you so know, crazy. to to do the obvious to highlight the movie, to highlight the and, and often these boycotts or attempts at bands, you know, they I often do the exact opposite of what they would seem or purport to intend, you know, which yeah. is like they end up highlighting the thing like like some of these books would just be kind of like buried in the vastness of a library. Exactly. Yes. But they've highlighted them and have them on a handy <laughs> little list, you know, like <laughs> oh, no, for yeah. sure, it, dude. Know? It's like, oh, yo, those are the books I got to read. No, no cause remember, right. remember when like the PMRC <laughs> and shit, like they're all up on TV talking about, oh, these albums are the ones that were, you know, uh, fucking <laughs> twisted yeah, sister. The fucking, yeah, the check yeah no, like no, Iron no, Maiden. No, I'm like, yeah, oh, dope. Like, which one do I need to buy? Like, oh yeah, that one. Right. <laughs> Yeah, like Congress basically <laughs> made NWA triple platinum, right? I mean, like you know, what what yeah. uh, what's the name? Uh, Tipper Gore, remember she yep. basically made them triple quadruple platinum with all the shit she talked yeah. about gangster rap. I mean, she that 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 was kind of part of that, but 
But with this, I really think Okay, so like when people lead these dumb crusades, I think they're half-assing it. I'm kind of nervous that the people here are actually trying to do something. I think people are, to Jeremy's point, things are getting pushed so far, right, that it's just upping the ante. Yeah. So now people are going beyond. Like, this is like some crazy conservative wet dream we're in right now. I mean, this is like everything, all ideas, all concepts will be controlled and basically mass manipulated. It's it's just, uh, I mean, this is 1984 shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm I mean, not, people typically say that yeah. about liberals doing it, but this is conservatives doing it. And you not only that, but you know what I just realized too is like the tendency for these type of things, I think is part of a result of the culture getting sort of the diminishing of attention spans. And hold on, hear me out. Mm-hmm. Um, just the way that we intake everything, all our information is in these little quick <clears throat> sound bites or like, oh, swipe up, scroll up, scroll up, next article. I, I didn't catch my attention in like 0.5 seconds. Go next one. Okay, next one. Huh, what's this? Oh, this is interesting. I'll watch this for five more seconds. Boom, they saved that. And now they're going to give you more of that. And then boom. Boom, boom, there's the next one. No, that's not a good fucking next one. Okay, mm, I'll watch this for a little bit. Boom. You hit me. You, you, you caught yeah. the little drip of the sugar. Like, okay, boom, that motherfucker gets that one. Look, that's how quick it goes, dude. And your that's how your brain, the information that's coming to your brain, that's how quickly it's receiving. Oh, bro, dude, <laughs> was the irony that you, as soon as you started it, said, it's about our attention spans, and hold on, hear me out. <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. saying as yeah, though yeah, our yeah. attention span was not going to be ready for it immediately. <laughs> hey, man, my yeah, was I'll be honest I got, with you. My was I got, done. <laughs> Dude, I got no <laughs> faith in you, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I, my was, was done already. <laughs> Y'all are part of the fucking problem. But anyway, the, the bigger point I was going to make was like, the, that's the way our minds work now. So that's the way we can conceive of like any kind of political movement. Like, oh, it's not like you're not talking about beheading uh, fucking infidels in the streets. Nah, not interested. That, you know what I mean? Like, if it, if we're going straight purge at the rate we're talking about. <laughs> I was about, taking bro. it like, I was literally taking it to like the most extreme. But like, and, and not to say that like the 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 phenomena of that on the other side of the world is because of the same thing, right? But like this sort of extreme shit, it, in a little bit at least, is part of that just because of that decision making process and like how you, you know what I mean, like how this stuff comes in and how you see it right um, it just feels like the, like you in other words like the attention has to be grasped uh aggressively like quick like in other words if you're gonna make a tiktok man those motherfuckers are just gonna swat like if you don't literally catch their attention in like a uh, half of a second yeah they got th- they got an unlimited number of of more that that they could go to, right? So sort of messaging in these like political messaging in these little packages has to be the same shit, right? For people you. for people to grab on, and right. that's but that what I'm saying is like how that plays out though in actual society is scary as fuck. Yeah, because we're thinking more like the machines that we're using. 
That's right. Because uh, that's how the, the machines are built on the patterns that they identified that right. we, we were yep. interfacing with them in. Yep. And so they have all the information already. And that's, that's essentially, dude, that's what the fucking, that's what they're talking, like AI is. Right, like right. They, they built the program to to take in all this data and now they know not only do yeah, they know said, we're already doing that they just want to make the connection faster they, exactly and then now they have the fucking code that they can replicate and just write for yeah. like a hive mind and guess who just joined the fucking party he's oh coming in. shit he was oh shit oh this, shit this is exciting this is happening Thank this, God. Is hap- this is the this is the live break uh, breakthrough guys this is a live breakthrough just in time to burn some more books it that's right he's I coming it's it's 70 minutes he's, that. he's here to burn books and plug up drain pipes it, i feel like it's coming it's, uh, we'll it's give that a minute to Hold connect. On. A little bit of a T. Oh, little T. Oh, here he is. There, there he is. Oh, there he here it goes. Hey. What's Our, up, sir? Brown Python in the house. Yeah. Can you All right. Uh oh. Here he is. Yes. Oh, All right. Fuck Damn. my life, guys. Damn. Oh, boy. You finally got him down? <laughs> I laughed, man. I don't even yep. know if they're sleeping anymore. I just left. No, you just gotta teach. Sometimes you just gotta let them roll out a little bit. They'll they'll fall asleep though. They will. Man, they will. it's like it's almost eleven, and mm. three year olds are still awake. I mean, it's just like well, what the hell, bro, bro. Think about it. It gets worse. It gets worse. No. It does. Oh. I can't set them back yeah. either, man. Like, this no, you can't, huh? I yeah, mean, you could try right. to put them back there, but it's really going to hurt her really bad because yeah. there's two of them. For sure. That's oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I think. I, so, think I mean, he, start, I guess start with the hands. <laughs> hey, I think even in California, three years is too late to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too damn it, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, oh, well, you know what? We should give you the last word. We're talking about how uh, your friends wanna um wanna burn books. So, oh yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we're 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 kicking off with that one. We so. it's we, not is we, not what you think. How many Nazis? So when you guys burn books, are y'all gonna march around? And play like you know, have like a the brass band going to dun to dun to dun to dun, dun, dun like some <laughs> some like that. Is that how it's gonna go? Um, down? Is that no, how you're no, no. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do what the Spaniards is with the Aztecs oh, uh, when boy. they burn their books. That's what we're gonna do. Oh boy! Yeah, that's what I, I went oh, there. Okay, he went. Anyway, there. Uh, guys, it's not what you think. They're, they're trying to look <laughs> at what books. We think. I just, it's totally. Wild. They're trying to look at books that have a overtly sexual. Um, no, 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 no. It's not kids, just so. sexual. It's also racial things that talk about race, um, about race oh. relations. Yeah. Well. Um, anything that talks about sexuality is not just yeah, about yeah. that. No, it's it's not like there's a bunch of books in the library with like you know, like you know, like like Ron Jeremy going to work on like page three, five, and seven. This is yeah, just, exactly. You know, Rem exactly. books that have mild sexual content for the most part. Oh. Oh, they don't belong in kids' sections. Oh my god, they're not in the, kids' sections. They're in libraries. Is the whole library in kids' <laughs> section? What are they in, dude? God, yeah, what are they in? Libraries. It's, it's library. It's a library. It's library. Oh, Sorry. It's a library. So yeah, I guess I was. I made it through this shit. <laughs> the library. Nobody has to the library. Nobody met me. My God, my fucking hey, God. if Bush can I'm... say nuclear, then he can say library. That's what <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I can say that shit. But, but, so is the whole fucking building 
Ah, yeah. Is the whole building a, a kid's section? Because they're, they're removing the books out of every section in there. Hey, man, it's, you know what? It's, uh, that's what they voted for. That's what people want. It's the people's life. No, no, no one's voted for this. <laughs> what what vote is it? Dude. Yeah. What? You know what? 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 They don't what, like what, it. They what can vote for vote? new people in the, in the future. You know, Don't worry about it. What, what vote is this for? What is vote is this? Is this the same vote where everyone uses the right hand? <laughs> what? And it's like all the way up in the, in the sky? And they used to oh. be screaming in German. Is that is that the type of voting that we're going with? Yeah, I guess no, this man. is terrifying, dude. This no, is but scary. like, yeah, but the voting, the whatever district right. it's in, I, I'm sure just cut off a nice little slice of <laughs> whatever dissident population might exist in that, oh, you know, gosh. geography. <laughs> You know, one of my jobs back in college was uh, working in in the acquisitions department of the library. Oh, boy. Yeah. I bet, I bet the books you bought. Dude, no way, man. Some of the books that came in was like, what the fuck? It was, some of it was just straight up porn. Like, just, some of it was CP. I'm not going to say the that, but... It's a wild place, man. Yeah, like, they are. Library, community but it's knowledge, it's right? The public library. No, it's supposed it's, to be art, I guess. It's art, it's knowledge. Yeah. I mean, things... What, what, one per, what one person's interpretation of something is, is a oh, completely man. different problem. Some of the stuff I saw, I mean... I was almost that I saw was kind of gruesome, you know? Like, it was almost like watching Faces of Death almost in a book. <laughs> uh, should you like how people died, you know, with pictures? I saw more lewd activity from like homeless people and transients, <laughs> like, yeah. and books. <laughs> Did I tell? <laughs> no, yeah. you know, was oh, yeah, but <laughs> that's true, though. They'd be hanging out, so <laughs> no, for <laughs> sure, dude. <laughs> and not, not only that, um, especially during the summer, bro, <laughs> with the AC yeah. going. Oh, but, yeah, yeah no shit and then not only that I, I had told a story I thought it was on this show but I'm gonna tell it right now it's fast but like I told it on uh, Mind Buzz when I was on there with uh, Gil uh, I, when I went to UHD I used to go up in the light we're like dude this is back in the days when you used to have to like kill time like remember like you, oh you were, yeah 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 that doesn't exist no more. You're like it's or whatever. And uh I didn't have like a little fucking thing to like scroll and check my fucking Instagram and shit. Like I was like, let me figure it. like so I just go up to I'd go to the library and just like start reading shit. Like I read multiple books without ever either not even like checking them out. I used to do that at bookstores too. I would literally like mark my, or I'd write it down in like my, one of my notebooks, like, oh, I was, I'm on page 42. And then next time I roll up into the fucking but, other bookstore, or like, yeah, I would just, just finish, go from there. And, uh, so anyway, like, yeah, I'd go to the library, man. Yeah. Just fucking every fucking thing's in the library. But the, I saw this, uh, you know, it's UHD, right? Right off of Maine. So we a lot of homeless people hang out uh, on campus there, and so yeah, not 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 un, uncommon at all. So up in the library, somehow like they, I don't know, like you're supposed to like show your little badge, like school ID or whatever, but somehow like <laughs> you know the the occasional homeless dude would end up on the fucking like third floor library. And, uh, or whatever, yeah. fucking four, maybe fifth. I don't know. So anyway, this one time this dude is in there and I was walking through like where they're on the computers, like one of the rows of desks and shit with the little computer on them. And I walked by, but he was like facing me. So I couldn't see what was on his screen. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay. Whatever. It's like homeless dudes in there pretty sure he's not a student but whatever i'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you know but yeah, it's like it, it was like judging, a, little, <laughs> a little judgy it was it, it was a little judgy but like <laughs> it just it 
it it was just like it hit my my head. It wasn't like I was making a judgment. I was like, oh, hey, there's a homeless guy. So when I walked, I was kind of curious. So I turned back around to see what was on his screen. And it was just fucking straight porn. And it like this light bulb went off in my head and I was like, fuck this. This is amazing. This fucking guy, like he was just like, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to look at some fucking porn. Like, what do I have to lose? Nice. Like they can tell me, they can tell me to get, they can get, tell me to get the fuck out. They can, whatever. They can look at me weird, whatever. But you know what? There's only like four or five flights of stairs between me and some fucking porn and a negative attitude is the only <laughs> barrier. This guy was just like, I'm going to get up there. Somehow he got past the whatever. He probably just like kind of dipped like right behind somebody. They didn't say anything, whatever. Sat down his computer. He probably sat down on the computer. Somebody had just walked up. So he had their fresh login handy. How do you know he wasn't doing his PhD dissertation on porn? Might have been. Might have been. And I'm a complete, dude, you could, and I'm you a complete could. asshole. Yep, you could, you know what, you're, you you could have been doing that, you know? But I'm just, I'm just that. saying, if there's a yeah, way, I can see that. The it liberal university. True. Yep. Some, see, some, yeah, oh, yeah, it's always homeless. the liberal yeah. university. But I'll tell you one thing. thing. I was the youngest of the guys who mm-hmm. were able to work at the coveted information desk. That make this makes me sound like I'm a thousand years old, but I got to work the information desk for one weekend. Do you remember like pre-internet that they would do little PSAs on public television and stuff about how the question call your library? The information oh, right. desk was like That's you could cool. call with all kind of random stuff, you know. Right. And our job was to find out the answer to that question or take notes on the cu- on who they yeah. were and find the answer and call them back. And we got so much random stuff just in my short couple of shifts working. <laughs> That's bad. Dude, I bet, somebody man. That's really a cool asked job. Us how much water did it take to drown a dog? And the guy next to me was like, you know, exacerbated, <laughs> like, you know, if he's still breathing, like, <laughs> you know, yo, I, I you know what, I would have came up uh, with some, some I just arbitrary some, I probably a prank call, but somebody knew, yeah. was like, how many licks does it take to the, get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop, you know? I was so a three months uh, addressed to yeah. the Tootsie Roll Pop. <laughs> You According know, to the owl, it was three. You know what's hey, man, but you know what's amazing about that dog thing? The the how many like how much water does it take to drown a dog? <laughs> There's oh, some is. some crazy ass piece of shit is like hmm, like I want to kill my dog, but I don't glasses. Wanna, I don't want my water bill to be sky high. It's horrible. I, I need I need to know the exact amount so I don't waste any water on killing this dang dog. We went through so many scenarios in our head, both, you know, nefarious and benign. <laughs> so. Yeah, so that's did true. You ever get, like, did you ever get us like, where's the best place to hide a body? Something like that's that. That's even better. <laughs> How do you dissolve <laughs> a body? How do you... <laughs> What what what's the mixture of acid to dissolve skin? <laughs> Not answering that question. Fuck off. Prank caller. Uh, but you know what? You want to hear another question that was answered on a stage that got a resounding boo this week oh, yeah. was when uh, a prick named Bill O'Reilly was having a wonderful conversation with former president the the man the legend the orange hitler himself um trump orange and hitler. the conversation regarding it turned into 
the COVID vaccine, in particular the booster. And when Trump was asked if he had gotten the booster, he of course replied yes, at which point the audience turned against him and began booing him. I mean, did, 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 did Trump kind of make something that's now even gone beyond him? Like, with the way he's done it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? the way he's railed against a lot of the, a lot of the COVID restrictions, et cetera, et cetera, his particular population is now completely gone even further out than he has. Right, so it's it's kind of interesting to see that, mm. and this isn't the first time. Remember, he talked about getting the vaccine, yeah, at yeah. one of his little Hitler rallies, and he also <laughs> got booed again. I mean, this is okay. be- this is between the book burning and um and the and the washing of the white sheets. He also mentioned something about vaccines and got booed again. So this is an this is an interesting conundrum. Like basically, did he start some shit that now he can't even control anymore? You know what it's like. No. Before uh, you, before you start, Rick, I just yeah, yeah no, because you're gonna. This question no. is, is for you. Yeah, really. I yeah. Just, I just want to interject what you said, Ben. Is yeah. you know what it's like. It's like in Fight Club when Edward Norton's like walking around. He's like, wait, wait a minute. What the fuck? Like, (laughs) remember, like, everybody's like, yeah, wait. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who are these guys? Yeah. Yeah. He created this whole fucking monster. And then all of a sudden, like, they're like his disciples. And he's like, wait, what the fuck? They're going to cut off his balls. (laughs) Yeah. No, right. Yeah. Because he's not the real fucking. If if you're going to get stopped. If you said you would say that too. Okay, yeah. look, look. It's really me. You passed the test. It's okay. You said you would say that. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and, then was it, and then you're going to end up beating something beautiful. I'm <laughs> fucking Jared Leto when he got fucking. Yeah, no shit. I just had to interject up. that. I'm sorry. No, but but go ahead. It was, it was the exact same thing. thing. See, the, the people aren't. Okay, they're not booing. Donald Trump and the fact that he got a vaccine. I well, think he was, what they're he was booing on stage. is <laughs> what, what they're no no no. What the people are booing is not the scientific advancement of the vaccine. They're booing how the this vaccine has been used to uh basically threaten people with their livelihoods if they don't get it. That's what they're booing. Because well, 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 right, if the that, vaccine had been well, made a choice, you get uh, a lot of subtext out of a question that wasn't no, that, dude. that wasn't the question at all. There wasn't you're, like, oh, cause, hey, do you guys want to get boosters to get your jobs? Boo! That wasn't it. They just no, said, no, no, no. Boo! No, Trump said, a, "I got a booster." Boo! Yeah. Oh, that's how that. That's went because down. that's because okay, there's negative I connotation the with too. the vaccine now. Bro, bro, I, I, I'm what? not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not. All I'm You're, saying is the I'm subtext was not is. that. The subtext was, did you get one? Boo. For yeah. You. Yeah, That's exactly. That's what it was. But you got to keep in mind that these are the people who paid money to see this program, okay? They didn't just walk in. Uh, so what? They're, they're supporters of the president. What they're booing is the, the former president. The vaccine has been used to weaponize. No, it's not the fear because Biden is <laughs> acting more than a fe- like a fear in him. Oh, uh, no, I, I'm right with you. I think he's a fear right. too. He's just a forgetful fear. Yeah, he's just a shitting fear. But that's what they're booing, man. Like, uh, I have a negative view of the vaccine too. It's, but if you think about it, it the vaccine has been a, a, an amazing scientific advancement. I mean, in mm-hmm. such a short amount of time, the world came together to come up with a vaccine for this new for, for this new uh, novel coronavirus. But that's not. But instead of instead of like admiring that part, this thing was made and it was beat over our heads. 
and we were made to give it, we're given a choice. Either you feed your families and take the vaccine, or you don't take the vaccine and you're a second class citizen now. Uh, Even in New uh, York. So that's what they're bullying, man. It's not it's not Trump, you know, Trump. I'm not getting need. that. I'm not getting that. I'm not I'm not getting that. I, I, I see what you're saying, right? That's what that's what a sensible person would think, right? What you're saying is sensible, but I'm not getting that. They're just booing him because he got it. They're not they're, they're booing him because he's not going along with their mantra. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not getting the, the concept that they're booing it because of the way it's reflected upon society right now. They're just booing him because he said that guy got a fucking vaccine, which is yeah. kind of scary because that's the what that's the snake eating its own tail. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I think um, I think if, if the vaccine were to be treated better with people, um, we'd be you know, hurrying it a lot, you well, know, well, celebrating well, it. Because well, well, we it, all know I mean, what the truth, though. We know the truth. I mean, about this thing. Operation Warp P did come from the from the Trump administration, and yep. that's something to be proud of. Not really, not really. Yeah, it was, it, no, no, really, it is. No, I don't think so. Didn't say that. That's something to be proud of. because now we are allowed to go back to some semblance of normalcy. You know, because of the Operation Warp Speed, yeah, because we have a vaccine in, in less than a year, but it's not effective. It has been effective in what country? In, it didn't uh, happen in the United well, States, uh, it didn't happen in Britain. They, no, we're on surge, what four in Britain, and they yeah. have a, a they have an 87 percent uh vaccine rate. But you hospitalizations have gone down, though. Overall, like we're seen... in the... I'm sorry, gentlemen. It just seems That's like right. we're in the upside down right now. You know what I mean? Because the two of you seem to be... Ar- you would you would think that you're arguing bullet points from the opposite <laughs> side of the political spectrum. You know what I mean? This is just one of those weird vortex places where it proves that we're, we've been off the rails politically for a long time. And, and just as a little bitty footnote, just because earlier I think Ben said to Jeremy's point, and that uh, something about things moving further to the right. But just to clarify, that's not really what I was intimating. I think I was intimating that things were moving towards the extremes and that things were uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, a, right, like a wrestling uh, marketing Good style. Call up. Okay. That's all. Yeah, no, no, 100%. Yeah, it's all <laughs> shit. Yeah. So, no, no. anyway, I, I'm just saying, man. Like, you know. But yeah. anyway, hospitalizations have gone down. So, but 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 okay. But the question is, is where okay? So a lot of problems with hospitalizations. Though you gotta remember, if you look at the data, hospitalizations really spiked after some of the after well after the yeah after the shelter in place went down because a lot of people were avoiding health care because of the fear of the coronavirus so there's a lot of factors that play into it but in the end operation war speed and just like everything else was just money motivated maybe because in reality this vaccine was never a long-term solution. They just sold it like it was. And now, like we've been talking about forever, we've all said it too, dude. I, 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 I'm a little shocked to hear some of, some of what you're saying, but like we've all been saying this. This has never been a long-term solution for this. So Operation Warp Speed failed. It was just another... It was a mass marketing attempt by drug companies to push an a experimental vaccine. vaccine type concept. And it worked. It, oh, it works for a month. No, no, and no. Then I you mean, you got the, a good the, the, shot. 
And then another no, he means, propaganda he means, worked. Yeah, the market. The propaganda yeah, yeah, worked. It, see? Right. It, it and did. Yeah. Because of that, people were booing it. Booyah. See? No. Oh, no, no, they just kept booing it because we said, <laughs> I'm confused. Like, no. No, because, dude, because, because what you because just you said, said worked. Got one. Huh? It was made for, it was made for the money. It was made, um, to scare people it was not meant as a long-term solution but now we're up to booster what number three or four now three three right people but he booed. said, he said he it over. It. but he said he got yeah. it and he then they it. booed I I, yeah. I I i get you i get you hey man sometimes when you're like you know like trying to look look for something you're gonna draw for straws but dude he said he got it and they booed it i know so that's yeah. the I, I take Occam's razor in this particular in this particular but, discussion because the most simplest explanation is typically I, I, the correct one. And he said he got a booster and they are booing him for doing it. I speak conservative. I know exactly what he's saying. I speak are conservative. Thinking. Is that German? Trump supporters they oh, yeah. wanting to see him. Uh, you know the uh, the paid money to solution. This is my like struggle. Their daughter here, uh, and that's what they were booing. They weren't I booing know. Trump himself. Anyway, they were I'm definitely. They're gonna vote for him again in 2024, just like everybody else will. I don't anyway. think but, so, dude. I think DeSantis might get this one right. Maybe. Oh, man. I think maybe. it's a, I think you see a DeSantis ticket. I don't. I don't Probably. I don't think you're gonna see. I don't Maybe think it'll be Trump, Trump DeSantis. No, I don't. Do you think? I don't think DeSantis would go be a vice president. I think he knows he should be. The, I think he knows he could. Maybe. He has presidential power. Like he has the ability yeah. to become president. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's this gonna, be, gonna be it's crazy. Gonna be rough. Yeah. This one's gonna be. Dude, this is gonna be twenty four. Will be twenty two. Because is gonna be a mask. You still have Trump as the outsider, quote unquote, and DeSantis is still a politician. So that might play, you know, kind of weird with people. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is in twenty two, there's thirty three so far declared Democrats that are, and from the <laughs> from Congress that are <laughs> announcing their retirements. <laughs> So it's going to be a rough run for the Democrats in 22, especially with the way everything's going down. And just to, I guess to continue with that, um, oh, you're starting Manchin. to notice, well, uh, Manchin, Manchin but I was in, before we touched, touched on that, I was going to say that you notice how Biden's backing down now on the student loan issue. So uh, this just hit today. Biden, they've already started.